Yes, good morning. Uh, this morning uh, we're going to cover uh, branching techniques. Uh, they are techniques used to control the flow of your program to uh, branch to different areas or to even different programs. And they can be categorized uh, two different, at least two different ways, uh, unconditional and conditional. Now, unconditional means that uh, a program is forced to either execute a, a different program or to branch to another area of the program uh, without checking any conditions. And the first one I want to talk about is, is jump label. This is the instruction, and what you, when it's inserted into a program, the program, when it gets to it, it will jump to a destination label that you have to have in your program. For example, you could have a number of motion instructions. Uh, let's say, Let's say you have a real simple program, just, just three moves, and you want to continually execute. Well, you have to put a label, and let's just say it's, we'll give it a number, label one. And you can add a comment to uh, provide more information. So when the program executes, it doesn't really do anything. It just notes that that particular line is designated as a label. The motion instructions are uh, executed. And then at the bottom, you have this instruction, jump label one. So the program jumps back to label one and just continues um, indefinitely. Now, they really wouldn't do it this way, but this is just an example. To halt the program, you'd have to press the hold button on the uh, teach pendant and then do a function abort all. So this is one, one, uh, one type of unconditional uh, branch. Another type I'll just go ahead and leave the label there for now is the call instruction. So you could have a label here and let's say you had three programs or any number of programs that you have written, and this program calls them one at a time to execute. So you could say call uh, program A. And this is just the name of your program. Call program B, you have another one, call program C, and just do this continually. Now what happens here is you don't need to have any other instructions. They could, these could be standalone programs, but when this program, let's say this, this is your main program, just give it the name main. It recognizes this line as a label, calls program A, program A executes, and then when program A is finished, it comes back 
and executes the next line. So you don't need any return or return from subroutine or anything like that. So we'll call these three programs and then jump back to label one. Uh, just like the first example I uh, cited of a, a unconditional jump, it would just loop through this and keep going until you did the hold and then function aboard all. So these are unconditional jumps. The um, the other kind of uh, branch is a conditional. So whether a program branches to one section or another de depends on whether certain conditions that you test are true or false. For example, you could test the value in a data register. Okay? So you could have a data register Let's just use register one. And let's say you set it to four. And register two, you set it to zero. So then you could, let's say, Let's say you had a couple programs you wanted to call, call program A, call program B, and then you can have a condition here that says if register, and register 2 is the one we're going to test is, uh, let's say it's uh, greater than 4, then you want to jump, label, we'll just go with label 1, but now we have to, now we have to decide where to put the label, because if we put the label up here, the registers are going to be reinitialized to these values. So we want to set it in here. So if this condition is, I uh, got this backwards. Test register two, and if it's less than four, then go back to label one and call these programs again. But now, if we don't do anything else, then register two is going to stay at zero, and it's just going to keep, keep looping. So we need to increment the value that's in register two. Increment means you're going to add one to it. Decrement means you're going to subtract one. So we got to have a statement here that says R2 equals R2 plus 1. So now, after this statement is executed, R2 actually has a 1 in it. So the next time through, so the next time through, um, Now we're going to have to have a second one. We're going to have to have a second jump. Okay? We're going to increment it. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to put this statement below this one.
That'll work. So we call these three programs, we increment the value of our uh, R2, and then we test it. If it's less than four, go back to label one and execute it again. If it's false, let's say we, we go through a number of loops and uh, the value of R2 now equals five. Well, then this statement is false. It will not jump back to label one. and the program will end. <clears throat> so you can test the value of a data register.